doctor palpates the neck, he feels maybe a gland or a mass. It's a little hard. He's a little uncomfortable. Sometimes they send it to you. What would you be looking for to say this is something benign or something more serious? Correct. You know, the length of time that that, that lump has been there sometimes is, is an indicator. Um, oftentimes, uh, you can have a serious process going on in the neck uh, and, and have it be painless. So oftentimes, you know, we think, uh, well, I don't have any pain. This must not be anything serious. Um, but in fact, uh, head and neck cancer can present with a lump in the neck um, that is painless. And the first presenting sign is, is a neck mass. Um, other things that can that can occur in the neck are, are, are lymphoproliferative processes like lymphoma, where you have enlarged lymph nodes. Um, we're specifically talking in the adult population. But if you feel something in the neck, what would you feel very comfortable saying it probably benign? What would you be looking for? In a, in a benign process? Yeah. Yeah. Usually uh, we, we, we go by size. Um, so if you have normal lymph nodes in the neck, it can be um, uh, up to a centimeter, centimeter and a half, so which is, uh, it depends on the location in the neck. Um, sometimes the, the spit glands or the submandibular glands or the parotid glands themselves can be enlarged, and that's um, and not necessarily uh, something that's cancer. It's just an enlarged gland. It could be due to an infection. Or um, even in, in adults, these glands sometimes um, drop as you, as you age and you have some ptosis of the gland. If they're soft and movable, they're less likely to be serious? Usually, usually.